Hi, my name is Chris LG. I work for Counterhack Challenges, and we build cyber ranges for the SANS Institute. We build things like the SANS Holiday Hack Challenge and Core Net Wars Tournament. And I'm gonna walk you through a bit of Core Net Wars Tournament 9 today. Uh, I am the head architect of that project, and I'm excited that people can, can start to play it now. <laughs> it took us quite a while to build and, and has a bit of everything. So you see I've just logged into the ranges.io platform with my SANS identity. So because I have a SANS account, I have a ranges account, and then I can go into this game. And I'm playing maybe because I'm at a large SANS event and uh, there's net wars in the evening, so I, I opted to play and, and I'm brought into this, this world. So, so we see here some young teens headed toward what looks like a spooky government laboratory in the woods. Uh, they might be involved in, in things with monsters or, or, uh, or extra strange human powers here, but uh, th their storyline is what brings us through these challenges. I think I think the storyline helps helps bring people through the uh, the cybersecurity uh, you know technical things they're going to have to do through through the game. So so here as as players click in and see see challenges, they can they can hit links here that bring them to a different assets like this Linux virtual machine. This is a, a Linux terminal right in the browser. Nothing to download. No special software to have on the player's computer. And you can see I've been I've been punching through some simple challenges here where it has me uh, just look at some files, add a line to a file, um, and then at any point here, I've been able to type hint to see what else I need to do. So here it's telling me to change directory into the forest. So I took a hint and now I know I could just CD forest. And then it says, great, now you need to look through the contents of the directory carefully. Uh, for hidden, looks like I need to find hidden files. And if I type hint again, it'll tell me what uh, what I should be looking for. Um, so here, I know I need to ls-a to see all the things. And then I have a flag. I have net wars pitfall. And again, up at top, net wars pitfall. So this is when I would leave that VM and go back to uh, the ranges platform and put in the flag and get some points. Now, on the topic of points, we do have a running scoreboard here where I can see how many challenges I've solved, how many points I've earned. Uh, I can see my hit rate here. So I've gotten everything right that I've attempted. And I can see I've taken two hints out of a possible 212 hints. Uh, Tom is beating me on points. Uh, Tom waffles, pancakes, and toast. Uh, but there's still time for me to catch up. Now, at a live event, we'll also have a big scoreboard up on a projector so everyone can see. Uh, for, for most players, it's about enjoying the game, having fun, maybe working as a team. Uh, but uh, some do like to compete and win coins, so of course we do have to have points and a scoreboard. So back to the game, if I look at my challenges, uh, we have, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we have some cyber threat intelligence uh, pieces that are, that, are, that are strung throughout the game that uh, help players not understand just what to do in a given situation, but also understand why things are going on. So understanding what an, uh, what an attacker is trying to do to them and why. Some of these threat intel questions sort of bring them along that storyline. We also have in here some Windows challenges. And I've solved this one, but I'll go to the next one where it's asking me to look at the contents of a file. Now, uh, along with some of these Linux terminals we have, we also have a, a full Windows environment. This is a full Windows uh, virtual machine up in the cloud built just for my player. And I know I need to go into the documents folder and it's asking me for the contents of the only file in here. So if I type right side up.txt, then it gives me these four words, nothing out of the ordinary. So I can copy those to my clipboard, come back to ranges.io, and then paste them in. And sure enough, I get some points. So great, catching up on Tom. <laughs> now, as I go to the next challenge, it's asking me about something in an environment variable. If I have no idea what that is, uh, again, we've got hints here, so I can click hint, and it says, oh, maybe try this this command here in a PowerShell prompt, and I can do that, and I can progress through. Now, before we uh, before we finish up here, I do want to show one more challenge set. Now, you'll see a lot of these are locked out. Uh, we, we don't put most of the harder challenges uh, in an available state until players have gotten so far, because it, it can, be, uh, can be a bit intimidating, right? But I did unlock this specific one here, uh, where this is a web application penetration testing challenge, where we see we've got this adorable character that is trying to collect some dice, all those D6s and D20s uh, in another environment. So if I click in, I'm brought to this web application where I can steer around and uh, can try to light my torch by clicking on one of these torches, and there we go, the room is lit. 
And as I go through, the, the challenges get more and more difficult. But again, I've got hints here from some of the other characters like Nine and Bill, and they can help me through. Uh, so one last thing is that uh, at the end of the event, based on how I've performed, the uh, the ranges platform will send me a report card and it basically says hey there were this many forensics challenges and you got through you know three of the six and you got through you know eight of the 20 penetration testing challenges and it gives me some feeling of uh, maybe what i want to work on next uh, in terms of my cybersecurity journey do i want to look more at some defense classes or or maybe management or cyber threat intel so uh, th that report card will come to me in about a couple of days well, that's all we have for right now. Thanks so much, and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about NetWars. Thanks.